sound check, is the voice twice as loud as the guitar? But right now, ah, yes. So, if the guitar stays that volume, and my voice sounds this volume, can you hear the words? Is that it? Okay, right, good, that's the sound check done. Okay. Sometimes I wonder, I think to myself, I think, how did it all begin? Oh yes, I remember now. It began with a smile. It began with a look. One tiny little moment is all it took. It began with a feeling. A hand reached out. And any doubt was by the by in the twinkling of an eye. So, once upon a time, two people met somewhere, and it began with a smile, and carried on from there. I'm going to attempt six songs in ten minutes, but my songs are very short, so if you don't like one, you haven't got to wait long for the next one. <laughs> this, but this next song is a song about a girl from the countryside, which is why this song is called Country Girl. She's a cunt. There's actually two... <laughs> two there's actually two versions of this song, and the second version is slightly longer. She's a country girl. So I don't know why I'm falling in love with her Cause I'm a city boy And city girls I usually prefer But not anymore, I fall them for a country girl I couldn't keep my feelings concealed I said to her I have had no experience in this field no, no, I never saw the point of whistling sheepdogs or getting down in peat box. But since we met, I just want to be henpecked. I'm a city boy who used to watch the football match with pals. And she's a country girl, much more used to pulling bits of cows. Who are. <laughs> City girls know all the latest fashions, but she's got animal passions, and I'm all ready for a woman that's primal. <laughs> okay, this is the last verse, but it goes from the countryside. She's a country girl who used to kiss the shepherd in the hedge, but I'm a city boy, and now she wants a slightly bigger wedge. Yeehaw! She wants fax machines and calculators. I want homegrown potatoes. It's a complete change of status. Get off my land! Okay, this next song. Okay, don't forget too much, I've got to do six songs in ten minutes, I'm going for a record. The next song, I write the songs on my hand, I'm not checking my watch. I want to sort of go into it. Right, next song, Making Hay. This is my, probably my best song. So, <laughs> this is going to be damn it. After this song, it's all going to be shit. So anyway, right, uh, Making Hay. You've got to take your chances In business and romances because you could wait forever for the perfect circumstances when opportunity calls be first out of the stores it's no time to wait in line playing by the rules you've got to make hay while the sun shines or else prepare for sorrow because hey, 
If you don't make hay today, what if the sun doesn't shine tomorrow? Seize these opportunities, because life is all about timing. You'll have stacks of haystacks if you make them when it's shining. Got to make hay while the sun shines, or else prepare for sorrow. Because hey, if you don't make hay today, what if the sun doesn't shine tomorrow? And you're gonna feel real sore if there's no bales in your store. So if it's sunny today and you don't make hay, then that will be the last. Okay, right. Thanks. Um, okay. Right. Well, um, I'm playing the most raucous, the most anarchic poetry night in London. So, what's the stupidest thing I could do? Play a children's song. That's what I'm going to do. Um, this song goes on for a minute, so it's going to be shorter than the intro. Okay, this song is called Captain of the Ship. I am the captain of this ship, and my ship is very ship shaped. With the safety of the vessel and the passengers at stake, my attention never wanders and my standards never slip because I am the captain of a ship shaped ship. Though we may set sail in a howling gale. I check its dial on the deck, and every last big tail, the sea fills me with terror. There is no room for error, so I keep a ship-shaped ship until the hour we prevail. The mighty waves are crashing, and the icy winds are lashing. We've got to pull together when the lightning bolts are flashing. The crew are treated fairly, spoils divided squarely. Because we won't have a prayer, lest wear ship shape and bristle fashion. I scan the constellation and I plot my navigation. Sometimes I go by hunches and sometimes by calculation. Until I see the seaside and my family at the quayside. And at last we are together and I've reached my destination. This next song, this is my social action track for the night. This song's called Don't Send Messages When You're Drunk. 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 Cause you'll get the reply when you're sober. <laughs> That's one of my short ones. <laughs> so often when I play my set, people come up to me afterwards and they say, that was shit. <laughs> but sometimes people come up to me afterwards and they say, yeah, Seth, you're all white, I suppose, you're not bad, but can you rap? <laughs> uh, ten pounds from Argos. Oh, I'll get Argos mixed up with Aston or something. Right, here we go. Wicked. You're at the right party tonight. Okay. Yeah. Can you can you feel the face? Uh, yeah, wicked. Okay. Right. So now. Oh, right. So now, um, there's this austerity crunch thing that's happening right now, but I'm here today to say don't worry about it. But because this is London, see, we don't say don't worry about it. Instead, we mash it up, see, and we say don't worry about it. <laughs> Some people get all stressed about, stuff they get depressed about, 
which makes them really vexed about stuff they should care less about. Bothering is taxing, so I live by the maxim. There's less heart attacks in maximum chillaxing. I don't want a bam. 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 I do not exert myself because I don't want to hurt myself. Why all of the urgency? It's not national emergency. Instead of getting uptight, cool down by two Fahrenheit, drop the chore, do less more, and chill real hard tonight. And don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So take it easy, daddy -o. Things are not that bad, yo. Instead of getting mad, hey, yo, stop being so sad, you know. When things, when things get problematical, don't just get fanatical. Instead of doing that, it's cool to take a stress sabbatical. And don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It didn't turn out as I anticipated, but I'm not fussed. Rob's not fussed. Don't worry about it. Thanks, guys.